All right, we are back with the Fox News alert. Listen to this. Overnight, U.S. forces in the Middle East attacked for the 59th time last month. That's right. Uh, Kurdish officials say an armed drone targeted an airbase in northern Iraq. It is unclear if anybody was hurt at this point. Ainsley. And earlier, thank you, Stephen, earlier in Israel, mourners gathering at the funeral of an IDF hostage whose body was found during Israel's ground offensive in Gaza. Trey Yings is live in southern Israel with the latest. Hey, Trey. Yeah, hey guys, good morning. The Israeli forces continue to operate around the Shifa Hospital in the heart of Gaza City. They say they've uncovered a tunnel on the complex, and this yet still does not provide all of the details of what they say are currently underneath the Al Shifa Hospital. The Israelis say this is a headquarters for Hamas. They've shown these new images of the tunnel system, they say, is underneath the hospital and weapons, also in the radiology department. But we've yet to see any evidence about this headquarters they speak of. Also, we know that the Israelis have recovered the bodies of two hostages near to the Shifa Hospital. This was a devastating update for the Israeli people who continue to hold out hope for those nearly 240 hostages being held inside Gaza. The first body they announced, Yehuda Weiss, a woman in her 60s from the small kibbutz of Beri. She has five children. She was being treated for breast cancer, and she was dragged into Gaza on October 7th. There was hope that she was alive, but again, Israeli forces have recovered her body near Shifa Hospital. The second, as you note, a 19-year-old soldier that was taken into Gaza on the day of the massacre, Noah Marciano, and she was in a hostage video released by Hamas. Ultimately, they released also a photo of her body saying that she was killed in an Israeli airstrike. This comes as the Israeli forces are pushing deeper into Gaza City. They say they took over an Islamic Jihad stronghold, gathering some rockets. You can see in this video here, it's not clear if the larger rockets are props that they use in military parades or the real thing. But the Israelis say they blew up the compound and they continue, as you can hear behind me, to strike targets in the northern part of the Gaza Strip amid reports they may be preparing to enter southern Gaza. Guys? That would be big. All right, uh, Trey, thank you very much. We